Uh, this is Lewis back uh, with a tutorial on how to make a child theme. So thank you to all the subscribers, especially the ones in the past. Actually, for all of you. And I'll be reviewing a uh, movie, Rocky Balboa, which was, I think, 2006 or 2007. Um, okay, so the reason for having a child theme is so that you can utilize Magento's fallback system. Uh, right now, uh, by default, uh, what Magento does is it will look for files in first the RWD theme. If it's not located there, it will look in the default theme. And if the file is not located there, it will look into the base. And the reason for this is there are two good reasons. One is so that when you do an upgrade and it upgrades a bunch of base files, you don't have to make changes to the base files again. You can just have your changes in those themes and only the base files will uh, get changed. The other is if one of your uh, theme files, you know, the file isn't working, you can just delete it and it'll revert back to one of these over here. So how do we do that? Uh, well, let's just show you how, uh, where the files are being located. And I'm going to turn on template path hints over here. And to do that, you go to developer in system config. Then you have to make sure you're on the local store view, and not the global one. Turn on template path hints. Save the configuration. And right here, we're going to refresh. So Rocky Balboa was actually a great movie with an amazing ending. If you haven't seen it, once the guy says, let's build you some hurting bombs, it's, it becomes a great movie. You get pretty excited. So this is coming from App Design Frontend RWD default template page HTML header. So what you have to do is go to App Design Frontend Hazy Coder. This, this is my custom theme name. That's my GitHub name. Um, then go default and then Etsy and then theme XML right here. And you can copy and paste this. I'll leave it in the comments. Um, and basically it says that the parent theme of this is RWD default. Before Magento 1.9, you can only have one, uh, you can only have three fallbacks in the system. Now you can have an infinite number of fallbacks in 1.9 and above by just making new parent themes. Um, one thing to note is this will not work if you don't have this up here. This drove me crazy the first time I did it, maybe six months ago. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was just a comment, you know, that somebody put in their blog, but you do have to put this up here. So now you have to tell Magento that you want to use that theme. So I'm going to go to System Configuration, and you go to Design, right over here, and I'm going to change this RWD theme to my folders theme, which is Hazy Code or my GitHub account. I'm going to click on Save right there. And right here, um, yeah, keep those template patterns on so you can see that it has made a change. So app design front end, Hazy Coder default template page. So everything is working, and I think I have the word testing in here. And then from there, you can go and do a uh, default uh, CSS theme because it looks broken, but it's not. And for that, I highly recommend that you visit um, Alan Storm's blog. Magento child theme. And this guy is really, really good. He says it's so simple, but he just makes it look simple. Uh, some of these things can get kind of complex. And see, he has the uh, default modern theme for uh, CSS. So that's how you do it right there. And I hope this explains everything. And now I'm going to go into Git. Um, see where I am right now. Okay. Let's see what I do. Okay. Get status. Okay, so it has those two files. Those have both been modified. 
So I'm going to go to my private GitHub account, get this right here. Okay, and now I'm going to do git commit minus am for the am flag. Um, the m is for message. The a, uh, what it'll do is say commit all. But if it's not added to the staging index yet, um, it won't add it. So this will only add things that are currently modified. So I'm going to type in adds child theme. Okay, it's to save. Okay. To stage, uh, to changes. And I'm going to do git push to there. Okay. Perfect. Double check right there. And do a refresh. Okay, so adds new child theme, which is good news, and it has my changes. Oh, what's that? It has some other changes. Oh well, whatever. It added shit. So uh, let me know if you have any questions for this or any other uh, recommendations for uh, tutorials or film combination reviews. And everybody, I hope you have a great day. Bye.